You can learn to fly a plane before you can even learn to drive a car. <laughs> Captain Cupcake, Cupcake is live on the runway. On the runway, watch out, with a look at how you can become a pilot. Good morning, oh, Captain that's a Clayton. Nice one. Oh, wow. Good morning, Kim and Kopi. Yes, we are actually, I mean, out this window is the runway for Fresno Yosemite International Airport. And with that comes some unique opportunities. There is a private aircraft about to take off, so we decided to jump in it. We are in a very fancy, prestigious airplane when you have your own private TV that pops out at every seat. We are in some fancy chairs and a lot of room. Full kitchen in the back with oven, microwave. And we, you don't get this chance to see the inside of these every day, so we thought we'd get in here before it took off for LA for some maintenance. Uh, Ryan, explain the nuts and bolts of this jet. Uh, this, this is just a, a Gulfstream 450. Uh, this is essentially the, the Ferrari of business jets. Um, it doesn't get any better than this. I mean, this is the, the fastest, longest range, uh, top of the food chain as far as business jets are concerned. So there's a song that says, I'm feeling so fly like a G6. Is this is this close to a G6? Uh, this this would be the, uh, the the baby brother to the G6, yeah, it's the G, G4. Awesome. I'm feeling fly like a G4. Like a G4 this morning. <laughs> All right, uh, so you are an instructor for students young and old to uh, attempt to become pilots like yourself and the person taking this jet off, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, Gene, uh, Gene here has been a pilot for a long time. Um, obviously to fly a jet like this, um, you need a lot of experience. You know, you don't just come straight out of a little, little training airplane into a jet like this. That'd be like going from a go-kart to a, a Formula One race car. Yeah, so, so how can someone uh, get involved with classes? When are, when are your classes available? Uh, we, we have the, the, two, uh, summer, or the two winter camps for kids coming up. Uh, they're over winter break, they're four days long. Uh, four hours a day, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Kids can come down ages 12 to 18, come down and uh, essentially they can learn to fly. At uh, the age of 12? At the age of 12, yes. That... Can't, can't get their license at the age of 12. Right. But Which... we can get them in the airplane, we can get them on the right path, uh, headed down the road uh, you know, towards getting their license. So. All right, so I'm assuming everyone wants to get into the pilot seat of this airplane. We've seen the fancy stuff, but we are going to head over into the cockpit now and see what that's all about. Watch your head, Matt. And we're gonna go say hey to Gene. Hey, Gene, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good, do you mind if I sit next to you? Yeah, come on in. All right. I'm behind the, pi the plane of a, the cockpit of a G4. This is pretty awesome. I'm trying not to touch anything with my feet so we don't take off too soon. <laughs> uh, we got a lot of stuff up here, Gene. Uh, tell us what it all does. Well, it does a little bit of everything. It's a airplane, airplane designed for international flying, so everything is computer driven. We have a computer mouse over here, um, so we can you have a computer mouse, well, basically? Basically, we have one on each side, so we can change to different screens on the... On so you're operating this computer right here with that mouse with this over there. right here. So, so what are you looking at right now? See us, see us right here, and then we can zoom in and see where we're going. We'll be going down to Van Nuys. You can see State of California there. And so we can do just about everything on this aircraft is uh, actually even more than what the airliners do. We actually have an infrared camera so we can see through the fog and have a heads up display. So let's but say- That comes in handy? It comes in handy if it's a, a foggy, you know, foggy approach going into some places. But we take this airplane quite a bit internationally to uh, Europe and Portugal, Australia, places like that. It is a charter aircraft, so we have a lot of different clientele. So. so what made you decide to become a pilot? Uh, my father was a pilot, so in, when I was you know, very young, um, I also had the dream of flying, and so I became a pilot when I was a teenager. Kind of like what, what Ryan's doing with the kids, you know, we really want to promote kids to learn how to fly. And it was just always a dream of mine to become a pilot, and I've been doing it for about 30 years now, and I've been on the corporate side. I was an airline pilot for a while and I flew for a major airline and a major freight company and then back into the corporate aviation. So um, I like this because you, it's not always the same route. So we can go a lot of different places and you get to be more personable with the people that you're flying. And so it's, uh, I like the corporate aviation aspect of aviation. All right, so you can start out the same way Gene did, and actually today is the Groupon for Future Eagles Aviation. You can get a full weekend of classes, uh, not only in the classroom, but in the plane for $99, and maybe someday you can be like Gene here and fly this amazing machine. And I gotta be honest, Kim and Kopi, if there's an extra seat on this flight he's on, uh, you may not see me for the rest of the morning. I don't blame you.
I don't blame you. I'd That's go too. That's pretty exciting. That's wonderful. But oh, on a G4 yeah. once. Oh, have you really? Yeah, a friend of mine who was started eBay. Yeah. Uh, wanted bought a house in Bonaire. Okay, sight drop another name. Hold on, let me figure. No, just, just, just I know, kidding. I know. I no, have no, a, that's wonderful. I didn't drop a name. No, just I know, a, I know. Just, just a title. Give me a bad time. And um, he bought a house sight unseen in Bonaire, uh -huh. and uh, he took my best excuse friend me, me. and me. Where's Bonaire? Yeah. It's the ABC Islands, so it's Aruba, Bonaire, and uh, uh, Caracas, okay, or Curacao. It's right off the African yeah. coast okay. of, of uh, Morocco. Okay. So um, anyway, uh, Kelly and I went, uh -huh. and he rented the G4, yeah. and it was the first time I'd ever seen a huge crystal ball, uh -huh. not just glass, but yeah, cut crystal, crystal ball, yeah. this of big of, M &M's? Was it of cashews, oh, cashews. Of, of nothing but cashews. cashews. I mean, I grew up with the mixed nuts, yeah. and I always went out to get the Pick cashews, and you left, you know. Were they salted or unsalted? <laughs> that's you how you knew it was a nice <laughs> you, That's how they I knew it was cashews. nice. They were just cashews. You have arrived, Tim. <laughs> there were only cashews in the bowl. And a bottle Forget of Dom Perignon. Oh, well, that made it. That made it. Yeah. yeah. Really? It was oh, amazing. Good. Does he still have the plane? Um, no. No. Well, no, he didn't own oh, it. He, rented he just it. rented yeah, it rent. for the week. Yeah. For that was, was it. Nice. Yeah. What a. It was <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, <that is> nice. <laughs> it was nice. Off the coast of Morocco. Did you guys go to Morocco? No, no. we just stayed at the house that uh -huh. he had never seen, and it was great. <laughs> what a nice life. And you know what? Well, no, I'm you know what? to ask. What? What? I was sick the whole time. What happened? I found out on that trip that I was pregnant with Cooper. No. So it's actually wonderful. It, it, absolutely. It was a blessed trip. Yes. Absolutely. So Kelly got to have all the Dom Perignon. Yeah. Cooper and Cat, you found out about Cooper and you had cashews. That's I mean, right. It doesn't get better than no, that. No, it doesn't. It no. doesn't. Yeah, it's oh. the joys of life. Well, nice to have you back home. <laughs> Hey, just ahead, AT&T. Anything else? This is a long time ago, 1999. Sure. We, we, no, I'm done. Until 10, we have time. <laughs>